Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Ben's Favourites. Now today we got mutilation, or as many people like to call them, mutilation. I definitely am guilty of that too, but if we do some digging, they got some songs that I can't deny at all. So, today we got No Mercy for Humans from Black Millennium, which overall is an album I was not that huge on, but I had two songs that were like, oof. And this is a long title, so I gotta read this one. Travels to sadness, hate, and depression for remains of a ruined, dead, cursed soul. On one hand, we have a song that's really fun, and quite thrashy, and dare I say, upbeat. Then on the other hand, we have a song that pretty much reflects its title. It's not fun in the slightest, and is genuinely very scary at times. I got myself a coin. The absolutely massive. Australian 50 cent coin. Look at this thing <laughs> in relation to my hand. <laughs> if we get heads, we're going to do the happy one. If we get tails, though, we have a travel to sad to say depression on our hands. Alrighty. Heads. We gotta start with a fun one. Anyways, this is No Mercy for Humans. Straight off the bat, really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, bombastic kind of intro? You can tell that something's about to go down. This song always gave me like an Iron Maiden-y kind of vibe for some reason. Maybe because it's more like diatonic minor notes and blah blah blah. Oh, so the left and right guitar underplay on this song is insane, and you can bet that I'm going to touch on that. That little do 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 Oh, it's just too good. It's a little sloppy though. Come on guys. Come on guys. Down centered. Oh, and this big bridge section. Whew. That's so weird. Don't mind me deleting stuff off my desktop. It's got this kind of 6 8 kind of groove to it. 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6. It should be no secret by now that I'm a sucker for that time signature, so we good. And boom, straight back into it. Mm. Oh, that's one of those moments we realize it's really off time. Listen again. Hey man, can we get another take on that guitar track? Then back to the start. <clears throat> oh, so good, so good. Oh, 
of that new drum bait. Man, it's such a shame that they couldn't get a better sounding drum machine too. Like, <laughs> which which is kind of hypocritical for me because you know I use drum machine, but like, that's all you got. Uh, okay. <laughs> Then back to the verse again. Oh. Dude, I woke up like two hours ago and I still got that weird crusty garbage in my eye. Man, this is not really a song that you could say too much about, other than it's fun, kind of, and, th and thrashy and straight to the point. Hence why I'm chipping away my 6x6 six six right now. Then they go back to the intro again. Oh, this is too good, man. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is the other song I really like from this album, actually. I completely forgot that they were right next to each other. Anyways, we got another track to get to. And it's already been about seven and a half minutes, which is roughly the length of this song. So yeah, I remember listening to this album for the first time. This is track what? Three or four? Five. I was like, that track's not that good. That one's kind of okay. That one's kind of okay. That one's kind of okay. And then this song came on. And I was like... Wow. And yeah, we will get into that right now. Straight off the bat, that chord is just... Gross. I kind of want to figure out that is and use it at some point. Oh. That way that they change from a minor to major chord. I'm a sucker for when bands do that. It kind of gives you this slight raise of hope. And then, no. You momentarily forget that you're listening to one of the most bleak black metal songs I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> that slight lift. And they just speed it up on a dime. They like triple time it. Because at the start it's like duh, 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 duh. and now we're at work. Yes. Double time, roughly. Roughly. This bit is 
so good with the stacked thirds kind of just like oh so good I'm sorry man the drummer on this album did not do the greatest job in the world anyways Can they bring that back little, that little bridge bit for a sec? To use it as another bridge in combination with this B rev. This little bit. A. B rev. Another new bit. Then the same B rev. So it's going A, B, A, B, C. Hang on. A, B, A, B, A, C. Very common songwriting trick. You kind of give them the same thing twice in a row, then something different for the third time. And often what musicians will do is I'll have AB, then AB again, AC, then AB once again, to give it this big um, four repetition cycle. I don't recall off the top of my head if they do that here, but uh, we'll find out right now. <laughs> Oh, A, B, A, B, A, C, A, C. Okay, that's clever too. A new chord just for that last bit. Oh, and then straight into another verse. Once again, another really cool stacked thirds kind of bit. <clears throat> Oh, the vocal performance on this song as well. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like the guy's dying. And I of course mean that in a good way because wow, this is effective. Oh. Then back to the fast bit. Yes. Switching between half and double time. Smart, smart. Do up three minutes. Whew. Hey 
guys, we're five minutes in. Do we repeat something else once again? No. We gotta surprise him. Brilliant. That would have been so hard to execute without hurting yourself, Jesus. <laughs> it almost sounds like that Bethlehem guy in Dignus Tainakare. Oof. Speeding it up a tiny bit, and also bringing back a couple of the little stack thirds and chords from earlier. Good. Changing the key and making it augmented. Yes! Oh, that's, that, that's another thing I need to start doing in my tracks. Then speed it up again with another new part. Oh, nice. Nice. Man, the drama makes it hard to find the beats sometimes. <laughs> but B-Man, this is where they started using a drum machine. Uh, I call BS on that. Listen to this. <laughs> then they take it back to the start. Yes. Oh. But the part is a little bit different. Actually, no, that particular bit was exactly the same. Maybe I'm thinking of a tiny bit later on, we shall see. It's been like a month or two since I last listened to this, so give me a break. Sounds like an angry cat that you're trying to capture off the street or something. Oh. The vocal performance really, really adds to the, to, the, to the disturbing and scary nature of this song. In fact, that's probably what makes it the most. Alongside the really deranged note choices, of course. <laughs> Feedback is ear piercing, dude. Yeah, this is one of the tracks where they bring in the drum machine for the first time, and I'm not a fan of all at all. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm all over that song for the most part. And then the last couple will come in, and I just want to turn it off. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's been my double reaction for Mutilation. I have a couple of more bands I want to do double reactions for. Kind of want to do one for Mastodon. Do a couple of songs of Crack the Sky. I want to do a triple reaction to an Abstract Illusion. I kind of want to do a Blood Incantation reaction, where I listen to Hidden History all the way through. I also want to do one for Slayer, where I do Hidden History all the way through. I might even do Slaughter of the Soul all the way through at one point. I want to do, I don't know, songs from... Operation Minecraft of Queen's Rack. I want to do. I want to do some like Death Heaven. I want to do Revolution in Limbo and maybe White Walls by um, Beachy Bam. Seven Nine Three by Enslaved. Some Panopticon as well. 
Uh, I might even do my beloved Bellicor. Got to do some Dream Theater ones too. I might do Change of Seasons one day. If I'm feeling the mood to, you know, sit through 23 minutes, which is probably going to have like another <laughs> five or six minutes worth of talking. <laughs> Anyways, that has been my mutilation double reaction. I hope you liked it, Satanic. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.